close cold contact. Cooler Master is launching CryoFuse, the all-new line of thermal paste delivering superior bonding for your processing capabilities. Utilizing nanoparticles, CryoFuse allows for excellent thermal conductivity on all processing components for optimal heat transfer. The non-corrosive and oxidation-resistant properties prevent solidification and leaves metal contact surfaces unharmed. Versatile range of temperature performance, maintaining stability from minus 50 degrees Celsius up to 250 degrees Celsius. High performance. Exceptional thermal conductivity. Anhygroscopic, non-moisture absorbent. Non-corrosive formula. Temperature stability from minus 50 degrees Celsius up to 250 degrees Celsius. Stable performance. Easy application. Top reviews from the United States. Excellent thermal conductivity at a great price. I built a new system a couple months ago in which I installed an I-71270K being cooled by a Cooler Master HyperX Black Tower air cooler. I originally used Noctua's NTH1 hybrid thermal compound which gave decent results with my overclock. Upon surfing online, I saw an ad for Cooler Master Cryo Fuse with a thermal conductivity of 14 W per meter. K. Not to be confused with Cooler Master Cryo Fuse Violet with a thermal conductivity of 12.6 W per meter. K. Which still isn't bad. It also has a versatile range of temperature performance, maintaining stability from minus 50 degrees Celsius up to 250 degrees Celsius. With this thermal paste, my idle temps dropped 6 degrees Celsius and 5 degrees Celsius while stress testing on Cinebench. This thermal grease is thick, so make sure it's not in a cold environment while trying to spread it or it won't spread correctly. If you don't know what you are doing, watch the tutorial on their website. This is excellent thermal grease and I highly recommend it due to its performance and cost.